and she took she felt like three or four cats now that she didn't have before. Yeah. He doesn't like cats when he sees them on walks. So what are you you're gonna take him back to North Carolina and then what what are you gonna do with him if he tries to kill the cats? You're gonna dump him at a with his separation anxiety and his terrible behavior in the shelf in the shelter, he's gonna end up dead. How selfish do you have to be? Because you're gonna prove that you're right and I'm wrong. I told her when I took him from her last year, we're not doing this joint custody. Yeah, I know. Once he comes home to my house, and as long as he integrates with my pack, we're done. Like, that's it, he's home. I don't I don't do that. I don't foster because I can't let him go. Yeah. So, and seven months in is when he developed the separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been battling for the last five, five months now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she came in here first off and said, I'm only keeping her three. Mm -hmm. And then that was the end of that. Right. She told, she called me.